fact, there's a chance, a chance that this year in the Bay Area, there could be a, a new attendance record set for the two teams combined. Believe it, 82. If my math is right, there were about 3.2 million fans at the ballparks combined. There's a chance that this year it could break that mark. People keep coming to ball games. The problem is the teams need more and more to make it work financially. One and one to Downing. Well, the thing about baseball attendance, the only thing there is it's not a finite attendance. It's almost infinite with the number of seats they have and the number of games they play. Whereas football is generally a, a sellout and you're going to play 10 home games and that's it. But in baseball and with your 81 home games, you have almost an infinite number of seats. Well, that's the pitch that Young has to have the right-handed batters on the inside corner, one and two. Get, get the fastball in there, get the slider in there, and he has to be able to pick up that spot. And that, that one was a good pitch. The down and give up on it, and he's got the inside part. He thought that ball was going to come right in on it. 3-3 game here in the fifth. The one and two count to Downing with two outs. Devon White, the runner at first. Very careful because White has good speed. You saw his numbers, 24 steals. He has the chance to become the sixth member of the Angels to be a 2020 member. 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in the season. He has 19 home runs now. And they picked him off. Griffin covering McGuire with a tough throw, but it's there, and White is out on a pickoff, 1-3-6. to three to six. And that ends the fifth inning, and we're still tied at 3-3. Three, three. So, uh, who's invited to this beach party? Steve. Steve. And Karen and Lynn. And Yvette. And Ula. Ula? You, you invited Ula? 7-Eleven has great sale prices on soft drinks, so even when you're in a hurry... You can afford to load up. So, uh, who's a deaf man? Steve. Steve. Get the good things easy. A case of Coke, 12 ounce cans, is just $5.99. It's here, Toyota's end of summer clearance sale, and that means your Northern California Toyota dealers are clearing out 4,000 of America's number one selling small trucks. And because everything must go, prices are low. You'll find trucks with prices starting at just $69.98 and special limited edition trucks that give you up to $650 at options free. See one of your local Toyota dealers today for the right deal right now. Holy Toledo, who could ask for anything more? The tradition of horsepower. Budweiser and the King of Beer, a tradition of horsepower that's making waves. Racing fans, this buzz for you. When the news isn't good, I always remember I'd rather hear it from a friend. Dave McElhatton's News, just what you'd expect from someone you trust. Japan Super Slugger, tonight after A's Baseball. 3-3 game as we go to the sixth inning. The bottom of the fifth ending with a beautiful Kurt Young move. Absolutely as young, as White dead to right. It's tough throw for a first baseman, isn't it, Long? Oh, he's I safe. Think, he's yeah, safe. Griffin tagged him up high. That's what I said to you earlier, that yeah. I thought that he was safe. But, but see, now McKean had called Griff out on a play where he thought he was missed. The, the tag was missed. The throw is there. When the throw is there, you're out. Right. That's what it is. Because White doesn't argue the play. That's a pickoff for Young and a caught stealing for White. And now the A's with a shot to take the lead here in the sixth inning with the top of the order. And it's one and one to Bernazard. Smell your cinnamon roll. White. Cooking down below. You can tonight.
Bernazar to left center. Pettis racing, but he'll have to play it on a hop. And the ball gets by, and Bernazar will take two. Well, that was a rarity, a ball that Pettis could not outrun. Well, it's interesting. He decided he was going to play it safe, and then in playing it safe, the ball took that weird hop behind him. He slowed down and took the weird hop and bounced back behind him. And it might be something to do with the football game that was played here last night. Yeah. They score that a single and an error. So Bernazard, the lead run at second, no one out. Mike Davis up there trying to pull the ball now and get Bernazard to third. Bernazard has a problem. He has that pulled muscle that it's difficult for him to run all out. As we alluded to in his last at bat, Davis has trouble pulling the ball with his knee problems. 2 0. Michael Pitt says it's an injury that's just going to take six weeks to heal. But since he's played this far along with it, it would make no sense for him to sit out now. He's just going to keep trying to do the best he can. And there it was. Going to the left side. Hendrick is in, and there's one away. No, Bernazard stays at second, but now the A's will have Canseco and McGuire with cracks of bringing home the run. Jose froze on a curveball in the first inning for the strikeout, then hit a oh, about a medium strength line drive to DeSensei in the, in the fourth inning. Seiko taking ball one. There's that good curve ball at Sutton. Has used very well, save for one pitch, really, and that was the one to Steinbach. One and one. And Seiko is sixth in the league with his 81 RBIs, but George Bell is putting on a streak that's causing him to kind of run away now. Bell is 99 runs batted in, so he's 18 ahead of Jose. Andre Dawson today, I think, had his 99th run batted in for the Cubs. Well, two straight balls to the left side. And Bernazard is still at second base. Two big outs for that man, and now he deals with McGuire. Mark fly to center, then jumped on a breaking ball and doubled into the left field seat to the fourth or the fifth inning and that one may be it way back and there's your record mark mcguire puts the a's in front with his major league rookie record 39th home run And the way he's done so many this year, Lon, first pitch. Well, and it's interesting, too, that they had called him Marco Solo because of the base and empty home run, but he hits a two-run shot here for the record. Sutton didn't watch Steinbox. He watched that one. And we'll watch it. Lon, I think that's going to be a little load off his mind. I think it yes. has, it's gotten to Mark a little bit in the last week. A pitching or batting coach Bob Watson over to shake hands because Bob has really been working with Mark in this, this uh, in this time, working on him to say just go ahead and swing the way you were 
you were doing before. And they're there trying to get the baseball back for or they're gonna trade baseballs with <laughs> <laughs> that old, hey fellas, it isn't gonna be that easy a trade. I guarantee you that. I would have thought there would have been some ushers over there trying to do that, but that's what's going on right now. As there's also being a pitching change made. We're all getting caught up in McGuire's home run, but the Angels have made a pitching change as Marcel Latchman, the coach, has called for left-hander Chuck Finley to replace Don Sutton. So while all of that happens, Mark McGuire has set a major league rookie record with his 39th homer, and that gives the A's a 5-3 lead. We'll be back in a moment. Here, boys, oh, we must welcome them. Yeah. From the galaxy of limbo, Burger King presents Silver Hawks Meal Packs with a copper kid reflector, magic motion shield, and two other Hawk Haven treasures. You can collect them all. Yeah, I will take them. Take this, monster. The amazing Silver Hawks Meal Packs now at Burger King. This is gonna be good. It's a natural time for a sun dance. Refreshing sun dance natural juice sparklers. Anytime's the right time for a sun dance. 70% fruit juice is 30% sparkling water and nothing else. Now in raspberry and kiwi lime too. Vision's range top cookware by Corning withstands heat that turns ordinary saucepans into sauce. And unlike metal pans, they're perfect for the microwave. Vision's by Corning. It's visibly superior. The youngster right behind, he's being blocked right now by that usher. There's a young man, there he is, holding up the ball. That's the ball that the A's want, that Cooperstown wants. But right now, it's Monty Hall. They need Monty Hall down there to try and get the kid to take door number three. Well, there's an interesting thing, a curtain call on a visiting ballpark. <laughs> wow. They uh, wanted McGuire to come out. McGuire just took a curtain call in the visiting park. That is something. Left-hander Chuck Finley on to pitch to Murphy. The A's lead the ball game, by the way, 5-3 to three in the top of the sixth inning. There is Finley's record. I think they overpowered the kid. <laughs> I think they wrestled him to the ground and took the ball away from him. Well, anybody in New York, they remember Sal Durante? Caught Roger Maris's 61st home run ball at Yankee Stadium. I think he gave it up for relative pittance by today's standards. Told the kid to either give up the baseball or you're going to have to go drive on the freeway. <laughs> it's pretty harsh. Two and two. Yeah, There's he, the he, kid. They're going to give him a. He wants to go with you and your limo to the ball game tomorrow. And a called strike three to Murphy ends the inning. So Chuck Finley comes in to strike out Murphy amidst all the commotion surrounding a major league record. But more importantly, it gives the A's a 5-3 lead after five and a half. Tires. We know you don't think about them much, but man, what the right set can do for your car. At 11 on Channel 5, freeway violence in the South Bay. Tonight, CHP officers say they'll put a stop to it before it gets worse. 
Tonight, we'll ride with a special patrol that's hitting the road to look for motorized gunslingers. In the East Bay, an attack last night has police thinking a man who preys on elderly women is on the loose. And the search for the perpetrator of one bizarre crime, a crime police say carried distinct shades of Dracula. It's all at 11 on Channel 5. Well, the A's lead 5-3 on Mark McGuire's 39th homer, a record by a major league rookie. And here is the A's bullpen, the relief core at its best. That, is that a two-for-one deal? Kids got to wear a funny-looking outfit to be on that program, doesn't he? You know what I can't believe, given today's climb, is that the young man didn't have an agent trying to negotiate that deal for him, get a couple of bats. Maybe he did. Maybe he just had a poor agent. <laughs> they might have told him they were going to give him something else, too, and to come down after the game or whatever. And they might have told him you'd get thrown out of the game, too. Well, now the A's have a lead, and here is a curtain call in a visiting ballpark. In Mark McGuire's home area, but Brian Downing just got one back. Away out of here. Number 22 for Downing, and now it's a 5 to 4 ball game. A 1 0 pitch. So again, young pitching from behind getting hurt, and now it's 5 to 4. Downing hits them off just about every A's pitcher. That's the first one he's hit off young this year. Fourth home run this year again. He had hit two off Howell and one off Stewart. And now one off Young. Again, Lon, I guess it is too easy sometimes to get caught up in all the promotion of an individual's achievement. The A's have a ball game which they need very badly. And now it's a one-run game here in the sixth as the Sensei fouls the first pitch back. Well, the, the major thing is that that uh, it, it comes in a game where it really means something because it puts the A's in front. McGuire's home run I'm talking about. Now, Kurt, in his own mind, for his own peace of mind, has to really bear down here. Maybe playable? No. Ball drifting a lot at the end there. It goes in the seats. That home run by Downing certainly didn't help his confidence, but in the game that he beat the Angels down here before when they when they had the collision in right field with Davis and Murphy and Pettis got the inside the home run, uh, inside the park home run. Uh, Young gave up a few home runs in that game, but he had a big lead, and that was different. Now, where he has a one-run lead, I'm sure it's in his mind that He's got to make himself some perfect pitches, and he didn't really make a perfect pitch to Downing. It didn't look like it was that bad a pitch, but it wasn't one that Kurt could be real proud of. One and two now to Desensei. You, know, you mentioned a while ago, Ted, about LaRusso saying there'd be no finger pointing in the, and that uh, blaming one player or one division of the club. I think one of the outstanding things that happened after losing the four-game series in Minneapolis, going out to the ballpark, or going out to the airport, having the plane canceled, being out there over six hours, I didn't hear one player gripe about it. They took it in good humor. They applauded Mickey Morabito for the job that he did in getting a charter, getting him out of there. But they as a group a lot of times the players will get on the traveling secretary or they will gripe about this or that this ball club just took it in stride and I was very proud of them and, and I think that that shows a good deal of character on this club reaching out hits a bad ball and Bernazar cannot make the play well Young is going to get upset with himself there he should have fielded that ball that's it here's the tail end of it Bernazar gives it his best effort
But a ball that was hit off the bad pitch hit off the tail end of the bat, and somehow it got through Young. Kurt is a good fielding pitcher, and I'm sure he's really upset. Here is Hendrick, Mickey Morbido, telling us that the A's have the ball, and the young man just wants to meet McGuire. So they're going to bring him up here and have him go down after the game and meet McGuire. First pitch foul pop-up, chasing. This one, again, will make the seats. That's two hitters now to Sensei and Hendrick, who both have popped the ball up and just gotten out of reach. This is Mickey Morbido, the A's director of team travel leaves. You mentioned that very good point about last Sunday's fiasco in Minneapolis. And that was a situation, Lon, I'm sure you've been around teams where there would have been a human sacrifice in that situation. Sure. But that's what I say about this team. I think it has very good character uh, and that the, that the... I don't think that, that uh, if they lose, it's going to be losing because they give up. I think it's going to be losing because they get in one of these stretches that it's just... Uh, it's just things go wrong, that's all. One ball, one strike to Hendrick. Let's see if they can turn this. Alfredo gets one. Oh, and a great pivot by Bernazard in a spectacular double play. The A's haven't turned many double plays this year. This is one of the best. What a what a great throw by Griffin on that ball. That's right, right on the money. Bernazard didn't have to move an inch. So two outs, and here is Boone. Change up for a strike. Boone had a big double in the second inning when the Angels scored their three. The A's with three in the fifth. Two of them on a home run by Steinbach. Strike two. Then two in the sixth on McGuire's 39th. And the Angels getting one back here in this, their half of the sixth on Downing's 22nd home run. Well, you have to like the future of this ball club with Steinbach, Dan Seiko. McGuire, Kurt Young for that matter. Michael Davis is a veteran, but certainly not an old one. Carney Lansford's not all that old either. Ball tailing away from Davis, and Michael just can't reach it. Tough ball to play there, slicing down the right side. Third one in the inning, just inches. The key, Juan, you know, the everybody in the league, I think, loves the A's team in the field. The key is getting some of the young guys up on the hill, and it's the same key as it's been for three years, really. Two and two. Well, I think what's going to have, it's a shame that, for more reasons than one, that Kurt injured his arm this year. Uh, a personal shame, but also for the overall thing, I think that... And this one should be playable for Davis in shallow right field, a foul ball that he has, and the inning is Called over. Called a fair ball. Well, he did. Mm -hmm. All right, but Downing homers to get one run back. The A's still lead it. Lon, nice talking to you. Nice visiting with you again, Dad. Have a good first and ten tomorrow night, and Phil will be back when we return. I do it for my husband because he can't do it himself. I'm not exactly sure why Why I do, do people shop the two-day sale at Emporium Capwell? It's something I've always done. <laughs> it's fun. It's the shoot. It's just good business. <gasps> it's none of your business. The prices. The furniture. The fashions. The girls. The boys. It's really a, a little bit of everything. Why do people shop the two-day sale? Come see for yourself today and tomorrow at Emporium Capwell. <laughs> why not? You're in Germany? I'm getting married at five. Don't worry. I'll be there. You go all out. Old Spice deodorant introduces all-out protection. Always coming through. When friends are counting on you, you go all out. 
You go Old Spice. New wine, Old Spice Fast Track is clinically proven to block odor better than the leading men's deodorant. That's all out protection. You go all out. You go Old Spice. All out protection. If your car is feeling overweight, sluggish, listless, it could be the unleaded regular gasoline you're using. That's because ordinary regulars are only 87 octane. But now, four cars are discovering the higher octane unleaded regular. 76 unleaded. It's 89 octane. Two octane better than ordinary unleaded regulars. To keep your car fit. And fit is better than fat. The spirit of 76. Well, the seventh, and Bill, while you're next door, things got measurably better in this ballgame. Well, I don't, if, if you were uh, superstitious like Tony La Russa, he probably wouldn't let me change back the TV. <laughs> He'd keep me in the radio booth. <laughs> Here's Lansford starting the seventh against left-hander Chuck Finley, who came on after McGuire's homer in the sixth and struck out Dwayne Murphy. Carney brought in the first A's run in the fifth inning with that sacrifice fly. Hard hit ball to Sensei on the line, knocks it down, and throws him out. De Sensei, an outstanding third base guardian, guarding the line that time and did the thing that all third basemen have to do on some situations, and that is give up the body a little bit, keep that ball in front of them, and you've got a chance to get the runner, and he did. And Steinbach, who tied the game in the fifth inning with his two-run homer. Another beach ball loose in left field. The A's making rather quick work of Don Sutton after he had cruised through four innings. The A's hitting him for five runs and five hits in five and two-thirds innings. I'm just doing some interesting uh, researching on Kurt Young. It is not unusual for Kurt Young to get home, give up home runs, as we're all aware. It's 26 off him this year. Fastball strike two. In only four of his 22 starts has he not given up a home run. And in only one of his last 16 has he not given up a home run. The, the bulk key. of them have come with nobody on. And the key is limiting them to one a game, too. That's right. He's, he's had a couple of games where he's given up bunches, and that's hurt him. Well, he gave up three in a game against Kansas City. He had no decision in mid-June. He gave up three the next start on June 20th and lost a game to the Rangers. He lost a game to Chicago on June 29th, the night that he hurt his bicep, and he gave up two homers in three and a third innings that night. Steinbach taking ball two and strike two. Eddie? Five to... I'm sorry, go ahead. This is five to four A's with one out in the seventh. Just a final uh, note. Uh, in each of his five starts since the uh, injury, counting this one, he's given up one home run. And Finlay has his second strikeout. Getting Steinbach for the second out of the inning. And Alfredo Griffin will be the batter. Sure enough. Not... The A's Alfredo need to Griffin. get after Finley here. Uh, and get some more runs because it's tough when you're on the road to try to make that one run lead hold up. And let's postulate a bit ahead. The A's for late inning relief have been previously tonight. Tony LaRusso said he doesn't want to use him tonight. Gene Nelson is now a starter. Jay Howell will be used, said Tony, if the situation arises. But, of course, Jay has pitched only once, I believe, in 19 or 20 ball games. Well, the last day he pitched was on August 2nd, and this is the 14th, so it's 12 days since he pitched last. And it is 19 days, you're right, since he pitched prior to that, once in 19 days. A ball and two strikes to Griffin. Chuck Finley, uh, back uh, about mid-July, was almost on the way back to the minor leagues due to some adjustments they had to make in their roster, and he came in and pitched a long relief job of five or six innings, shut down the opposition, and suddenly he was very solid again. Two and two to Griffin. He should be pitching tomorrow when Monty Moore is doing the radio. <laughs> yes. Joyner, Schofield, and Polidor. 
Ball three. Angels have left only four. The A's have left only one runner on. That was in the last inning. Three and one. Driven to center field, base hit. And McGuire getting that stroke back with a line drive. Gets the ace sixth hit of the game and becomes the potential go-ahead run as Murphy will be the batter. McGuire in a 3-1 pitch. That was a sinker, but it wasn't down enough to get McGuire to beat it into the ground. So that's Max third hit of the night. A bullet double before the home run. They're looking for the bunt, and that's what they'll get as Murphy puts it down on the first base side. And Minton with a juggling act, but goes to Joyner, and the sacrifice is successful, getting McGuire to second base on a one-to-three play. <laughs> Murphy led the American League in sacrifice bunts back in 1980 with 22. And here's Lansford now. Guy that Tom Kelly, the Minnesota Twins manager, thinks is the best clutch hitter in the American League. He walked him twice intentionally in a game recently to pitch to Jose Canseco. The young man who caught Mark McGuire's record-setting home run standing right down in the press box. His whole family is there and oh. eagerly looking forward to his clubhouse visit. Is his agent there? <laughs> I can't believe he doesn't have one. Jay Howell, two for one. Should have been at least five for one, but Jay's a great bargainer. Bounced foul, strike one. Well, I told him to keep the baseballs. He said, I want bats, helmets, <laughs> jerseys, box seats. Lansford with his 50th RBI back in the fifth inning on a sacrifice fly. That time that ball dipped down and out of sight. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Very possibly Dwayne Bice, but from here not detectable. Lansford behind here with one out. Big at bat. One and two. Angels would like to keep that momentum going from the recovery of two wins on the road at the end of the trip and take one here to start the road to the homestand on the right. No, there's a base hit. Here's McGuire around third. Henrik up. McGuire coming to the plate and it's cut off in the A's lead and Lansford gets back after taking a wide turn as DeSunze cut off the throw and fired and Carney had to go headlong as Lansford drives in his second run of the night. And Tom Kelly says, what did I tell you? That was a Dang. sinker, and he went down and got it, Ted. And golfed it to left. Perfect place. Hendrick has a strong arm. And the Sensei cuts the throw. The fans would nod, but they really had no chance. And the Sensei makes the right play, trying to catch Lansford napping, which they can't. The bullpen pitcher, believe it or not, is left-hander Gary Lucas, which is surprising because the A's are two batters away from having a left-hander up. Well, here's Steinbach now, who... Homered off Sutton back in the fifth inning with a man on. Good breaking ball for strike one. Sutton and Young, the starters, will no longer be participants in a decision tonight. Right now, Minton, should the game not change, would be the loser, and Jay Howe could be the winner. Off the fist. And it's a base hit. Lansford had to wait. Now he turns it on for third. And White with a good arm guns it, but not in time. And so the A's get their own little brand of number that time. After Polidor got one to tie it up earlier for the Angels. Well, he made him short arm the swing that time. It was in on him. A little bit of an inside out move, and he looped it in. It was a good job of hitting by Steinbach in the sense that 
Although he was fooled, he made an adjustment that fought it off. Gunny base running by Lansford because White has an utter gun in right field, but Carney had the confidence. He runs faster than people give him credit for that he would make it despite that strong throw. Well, you know, you don't have to be a blinding runner to be a good base runner, and, and Lansford's steal record this year bears that out. Well, here comes Marcel Latchman now. Let's see if we'll make a change or not with Griffin. They might want to turn Griffin around to bat right-handed and do so by bringing in the left-hander Lucas, and that's what they're going to do. So we're going to have a pitching change. Will we take a break here? Okay. Eventually we will be pausing. So Minton leaves as a man who could wind up in the losing column after working an inning and a third, giving up three hits and a walk, being charged with one run, and being responsible for two men who are still on the bases, here with one out. And Gary Lucas comes trotting in from the bullpen in right field. And now, we will remind you that we will be right back. You know where to go for over 50,000 parts guaranteed as long as you own your car. For lifetime warranties that are no illusion. Craig and Auto Parts. An oil change is the nicest thing you do for your car. So pour in some Valvoline as low as 49 cents a quart after an instant rebate. And if your battery's on its last puny legs, trade it in on a new Megatorque 40 month battery now just $27.99. For savings and lifetime warranties, you know where to go. Craig and Auto Parts. Fred Dare announces an incredible breakthrough in travel prices. Coast to coast for as little as $49. No travel restrictions. Up to three additional people travel free. West Coast to New York for as little as $49 with the Chevy Sprint ER. Sprint ER and 54 City MPG. It's America's best gas mileage car. Imported from Japan only for Chevrolet dealers. Devin, she's 11 years old. I asked her to help me warn people that smoking's bad for her. And she said she hates smoking so much she didn't even want to talk about it. So I said, fine, she could just sit here and not talk about it if she wanted to. But Mary Devin, honey, now that you're here with a chance to influence millions of people, isn't there anything you want to tell the cigarette smokers of America? Don't. <laughs> That's my niece. She'll talk your ear off if you let her. This is the tall, lean, and veteran left-hander Gary Lucas, six feet six, a 32-year-old who throws the split-finger pitch, among other things, and as you see, has made 31 appearances, two saves. He's been a setup man and a middle reliever with a one and two record over 52 and two-thirds innings, 52 hits, 20 walks, 28 strikeouts. Alfredo Griffin now turns around to bat right-handed as. That was obviously on Gene Mock's mind when he made the move. Now the infield, with the Angels a run down, they're not going to play double play deep because Griffin might be a little tough to double up. They're going to play the shortstop and second baseman up also. At short, Polidor about a step behind the base path. Right in the base path is the second baseman Schofield. Joiner on the bag at first and Desenzi on the grass at third. Griffin has had 17 RBIs since the All-Star break. Strike. And has hit well since the break, although he is 0 for his last 12. Went very deep to center where Pettis finally hauled down his drive the last time. 0 for 2 with a walk tonight. That might be in trouble. Nope, it's too shallow or too deep in right field. And White's going to throw it now. Backing up Lucas on the overthrow, and the runner at first was headed for second and now comes back. When the ball was first hit, I thought it had a chance of being in no man's land, but White was playing shallow enough, and he got a real good jump on it, and it was no problem for him. This is unusual. There's no way Carney can come on this ball, not with as shallow as it's hit and with White's gun. But watch White just let one go, and he'll hang his head. He knows... Now, why Steinbach goes back is what I can't understand. I don't either. I don't understand what Terry was thinking about. He should have just kept going to second base. He had already started back before Lucas caught the ball in the backup position. I, and I'm not quite sure what went through his mind. Now, here's Reggie. 
And oh, wouldn't it be sweet for him to get a base hit. Two men out. Now on that pitch, Lucas never looked at Carney Lansford, and Carney gave a running bluff about 20 feet down the line, and Lucas still never looked at him. Let's see if Desensi might have warned him about it now. Same way, foul back, and now it's 0-2 to Reggie. Boy, that would be a big run to get in right now. Give Howell a little cushion. Six to five A's. Checked his swing. Yes. Breaking ball worked outside. That's Tim McClellan at third base who incurs a little crowd wrath. Turnout of 36,616 here tonight in Anaheim. Where they come out in droves. go over the million or the uh, two million mark this week during the A's visit here. Off speed, ball two and strike two. Straight away in the outfield. A's with eight hits. Angels with 10. The A's lead 6-5. to five. Cracked right to Schofield. Knocking it down and throwing him out. Got good wood on it. But Lucas keeps the runners from scoring. And it's one run on three hits, no errors, and a pair left. And so the Angels come to bat with a shot at it in the bottom of the ninth. Trailing by one, 6-5. to five. It's a hot trucking month at Fremont Ford with hot, hot dealing on over 700 new Fremont Ford trucks. F-150s, 250s, Broncos, Earl Stars, Bronco 2s, 4x4s, Rangers from just $129 a month and 3.9% financing available or up to $1,000 cash rebate. And credit, it's never been easier. Yes, when it's hot, it's hot. So come in now. I guarantee you the coolest deal in town at California's largest volume Ford truck dealer, Fremont Ford. at our upcoming television games. Sunday at 1 o'clock we'll be back here. Steve Onoveros and Willie Frazier will be the pitchers. Back the next three Sundays we have A's baseball, a home game against the Yankees on the 23rd and the following Sunday in Toronto against the Blue Jays. On, on the 23rd, whose Yankees will that be? I said they might be Lon's. <laughs> when Lon was here, he might be managing them by then. Well, Jay Howell now in the ninth inning faces the bottom third of the order as scheduled Joyner, Schofield, and Polidor. Joyner, of course, capable of the home run. So, for that matter, is Schofield, who has eight this year. Joyner with 24, two more than his rookie season. It was about this time last year that Joyner began to tail off badly, and it turned out that in the postseason they realized that it had begun at about this time uh, an infection in his body that staph infection that eventually leveled him in the playoffs he figures to finish a lot stronger than he did a year ago here's a man who wants to finish strong number 50 joiner one for three that's extra bases Pitch in the tying run in scoring position. First pitch. Up a little bit, but 
still a good pitch for Joyner to hit. Interestingly enough, Howell had opened with a breaking ball against several hitters in the previous inning, and he didn't want to get into that pattern, so they were sitting on the breaking ball, but Joyner just a darn good hitter. And now... They're going to get a pitch hitter. Bill Buckner coming out to hit. And so Howell has himself a real job cut out here. Buckner, a recent addition, of course, came to the club at the time that the A's... There's the bullpen. Greg Cattaray, the left-hander, and Dennis Lamp, the right-hander. Buckner came to the Angels at the time the Angels came calling in July. And since joining the club, he has an 11-game hitting streak coming in tonight, during which he's hitting 368. And with Buckner announced as the pinch hitter for Schofield, Greg Cattaray, the rookie left-hander, is being called in for Howell. So we have a distinct reversal of roles at this stage of this 1987 season. Well, there's no secret that Tony La Russa would prefer to be using Jay Howell in a situation other than the one he used him in tonight from the sense that Jay just hasn't had any work. And Tony was talking about that before the game. He said, this isn't the optimum for Jay. He won't be sharp if I have to use him tonight, pitching only once in 20 days. I'm sure that is why Tony, with a chance to win a ball game, is taking no chances. He's going to play every percentage. And Cataray, who despite being a rookie, has had a lot of success against left-handed batters, will be on the face buck. Well, we'll be right back. Cataray coming on, we mentioned how he's been strong against left-handed batters. Lefty's batting just four for 22 against Cataray this year. And that's exactly why he's being called on in this situation as you see his numbers. The only problem Cataray has had has been the problem of finding the plate. That's been a problem that has been with him throughout his minor league days. Great arm throws the ball hard. And his problem was five walks and three and a third innings in his last outing in Minneapolis. Well, this left-hander Greg Cataray, who could fire the fastball with a breaking ball and a split-fingered pitch, made his major league debut having to face Wade Boggs with the bases loaded, and he walked it. But he's also had some success with Boggs in subsequent appearances. And now Boggs' one-time teammate, recent teammate at Boston, Bill Buckner, is his first assignment. And on deck is Polidor, a right-handed batter. Dennis Lamp is ready in the bullpen. Well, Cater uh, excuse me, uh, just a minute. I was just checking back. Cataray came in for Jose Rijo in a game against the Red Sox back on July 18th on that post-All-Star road trip. He faced Buckner and walked it. And that was the only man he faced. That was at Fenway. Yes, Ted, I'm sorry. I interrupted there for a moment. The A's, Tony La Russa hasn't been able to use his bullpen in this type of situation often lately. The A's have had only one.